Welcome to the Tillamook Bay and the Tillamook Estuaries Partnership. The TEP is part of a federal program called the National Estuary Program. One of only 28 national estuary projects in the country, the Tillamook Bay received the designation as a Bay of National Significance in 1994. Although originally focusing on the Tillamook Bay alone, uh, the TEP expanded its mission to restore and conserve all of the estuaries and watersheds in Tillamook County. Estuaries are critical to not only the ecological health of the system, but also to the economic health of the county. The Tillamook Bay plays a significant role in the local economy. Although it is Oregon's second largest estuary, Tillamook Bay is fairly small at only 13 square miles and averages only six feet deep. At low tide, about half the bay is exposed mud and sand flats. Oregon's coast range is blanketed by rich forests. These forests receive as a great deal of rainfall during the year, ranging from 90 to as much as 200 inches a year. Because of the high rainfall and expansive forest cover, Tillamook Bay, like most Pacific Northwest estuaries, is part of what's called a temperate rainforest. As you can see, everything grows just a little bit bigger around here. Tillamook Bay is referred to as a drowned river mouth estuary. About 12,000 years ago, the level of the sea began to rise as ice sheets the size of whole continents began to melt. As the level of the Pacific Ocean rose, the mouths of the river became submerged under the ocean. Over thousands of years that followed, the rising ocean and the submerged rivers finally reached a balance creating important habitat like mud and sand flats, meandering sloughs, and lush wetlands. Together these areas comprise a complex estuarine ecosystem providing critical habitat for all sorts of fish, shellfish, birds, marine mammals, and other creatures. All five salmon species in the North Coast use the estuary to grow and mature before heading out to the open ocean. Seal populations have rebounded in recent years, and seals can often be seen sunning themselves on sand flats during low tides. Rocky shorelines are homes to sea stars, anemones, shore crabs, and countless other wild creatures. Recreational fishermen from throughout the Northwest come here not only to fish for salmon and sturgeon, but to also harvest clams and Dungeness crabs, which are found in these intertidal areas. In fact, ODF&W rates the Tillamook Bay as Oregon's premier shell fishing area. Gapers, little necks, and softshell clams are found throughout the mud and sand flats. Although many of the bay's animals live here year-round, some only visit during certain seasons. Numerous species of migratory birds, including waterfowl, eagles, and brown pelicans, along with marine mammals, may travel hundreds of miles or even thousands of miles up and down the coast, stopping at estuaries like Tillamook Bay for food and shelter. Tillamook Bay has a history rooted in Native American culture. The bay's abundant supply of fish, crab, clams, roots, and berries sustain the Native people. The bay's inlets, sloughs, and rivers provided an intricate transportation system for the Native Americans living in the area. These same inlets, sloughs, and rivers provided the foundation for today's Tillamook Bay Water Trail. Saltwater enters the mouth of Tillamook Bay between two jetties. Once in the bay, it mixes with the freshwater of the five tributary rivers to create an estuary. The five major rivers draining into the Tillamook Bay are the Miami, Kilches, Wilson, Trask, and Tillamook. The jetties were constructed to ensure that boats carrying salmon and other goods from the bay had a channel that was deep enough to navigate. Erosion over several decades actually punched a hole through the Bay Ocean Spit in the 1950s, washing away the remaining portions of a town that was once called the Atlantic City of the West. The ocean sands that enter the bay through the breach also had a devastating effect on local oyster industry and may be impacting eelgrass beds even today. Eelgrass beds are a critical part of the estuary. Eelgrass is sensitive to disturbance, water quality changes, and is considered an indicator species for estuary health. Eelgrass beds provide vital habitats for crabs and fish species such as salmon, herring, northern anchovy, and smelt. These and other species find food in the eelgrass beds as well as places to hide from predators. We hope you enjoyed this overview of the Tillamook Bay. If you would like more information on the Tillamook Bay or any of the estuaries and watersheds in Tillamook County, please visit our website at www.tbnep.org or give us a call at 503-322-2222. And if you're up for a beautiful drive along the Tillamook Bay, feel free to visit us in Garibaldi at 613 Commercial Street at the Port property.